What's going on, everybody? This is Tony 2.0, and welcome to my playthrough of Alien Isolation. I have heard so many good things about this game, and it finally went on sale, and so I want to check it out, and I want to check it out with you guys, so let's uh, get this thing rocking and rolling. Obviously, the last few Alien games really have not been very good, and so who, uh, who, who knows what's going to end up happening with this. It's, uh... Just setting up, setting up all the options for the first time. This game, in case you guys are wondering, is at 1080p max settings. Everything the 970 is going to just crush it, I hope. Sega. This this franchise, the movie franchise, obviously Final has report of the commercial starship Nostromo. A huge weight to it, but uh, they haven't done a whole lot of good with it. The other in the video game the crew, world, Kane, Lambert, Parker, Brett, Ash, and Captain Dallas are dead. Oh, when they got Sigourney Cargo Weaver to do the readovers, that's pretty nice. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley, last survivor of the Nostromo. Yo. Signing off. So, I don't really do good with scary games, and I heard that this is pretty suspenseful. You know, the last few games I think where they messed up is is that they had just waves and waves and waves of aliens. And, you know, in the movies, the thing is is that they didn't really do that. You know, like, it was rare for you to actually see an alien. And so when you get into a game where just tons of shit is coming at you all the time, Ripley. really takes you out of the story, I feel like. Particularly someone who grew up watching these movies. I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. She's like, fuck you, bruh. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit what, what the fuck are you telling me, bro, bro. Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a permanent freeport. I know what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. In case you guys are wondering, I am using the controller for this. I tend to do that with first-person, third-person shooter type games. So, uh, yeah, you know, PC Master Race and all, but the controller just makes it so much easier. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. See the freckles and shit? While you're working in the region where she went missing. I think with, still with graphics, man, the, the industry is getting so close to that to that realism. On the torrents, if you a little more realist. I mean, like if you look here on the bridge of her nose, you can see a pimple and Maybe shit. You can see see the sweat marks. It's getting there, but the mouth and the teeth always ruin it. Uh, you can also see the polygons towards the end of the the chin and things like that. But it's getting so fucking close. Unfortunately for this game, I've been sitting here for five minutes and we ain't got to we ain't got to do nothing yet. Always starts out with a ruined cryo sleep, doesn't it? Who woke me up? Oh, to see my own pussy. The fuck? Ripley. All right, let's go sign in. Explore the Torrens. So everybody gone in here.
get dressed. Alright. Everything's messed up. Connor. Berlin. Oh, there's our shit. The old data link systems. This is pretty sweet, actually. Really, you're gonna look out for a navigational officer. I have a friend that's just lost his ship and he's looking for work. I can vouch for him. He's got good papers. Same old story. The mega core is undercut and picked up all the clients. Contracts are getting harder to come by for smaller companies, and I'm thinking of getting out myself uh, while I still have something to sell. Sounds like you're doing okay, though. Dropped by the docks and heard you just shipped out. Sevastopol Station. What a shithole. Still, I hear Wayland Yutani pay well. Good luck to you, Blaine. Alright. This uh, game already creeping me out. What is this? Can you use it? You can't de decontamination and shit? Sh take a shower? I like little uh, details like that in games like this. I'm gonna take the scraps and the injector, cause why not? I said find blueprints to help you with stuff. It's over here. Dude's looking at a messed up Playboy. Nothing. Oh, you can save there. Alright. Whatever. We saved it. My cassette tape was going, so you know I'm saving. Let me get them cigarettes, though. Alright, doesn't look like we're missing anything else over here. Open thing. She's just gonna jump out at me, I can already tell. Oh, the suits. Suits are pretty legit. Is there like a map or something? Okay, there's a map. Speak to Taylor, speak to Samuels. Well, everybody's still alive, so that's good. For right now. Ah, Ripley. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities, a well-maintained ship. I realize it's a very similar model to it. The Nostromo? Yes, M-Class. A later pattern, but close in spec. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor up yet? She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been. Haven't seen her. I'll go check on her. All right. Go find. Go find Taylor then. What's up? All, the, all that little shit is just gonna freak me the fuck out. That just made me jump right there. Is this Taylor? Taylor, good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good. I very much doubt it's morning either. Sorry. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Wayland Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. I'm yeah, I'm just going to tell you right now, lady. It ain't going to happen like that. Your mother has been missing for 15 years, and you... It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? 
Have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. Check out the the LM link. Hey Taylor, I got your case. Looks like we're up. Just gonna flip through this stuff so we can see what we got here. Just basic story stuff. Where am I supposed to go? Okay, it tells you, so that's nice. Get out of my way, bruh! Oh, snap. This is pretty legit. Had a restful journey. The Torrens is in very good order for an old M-class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Graphics Connor, are pretty legit here. SMG Not gonna lie. Calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep con so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. Oh, here we go. Can we see it? Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is a commercial vessel, Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7. This is how it all starts. Why don't, why don't we just turn around? Control. We're carrying three passengers on a whale and Utani Bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers port side over. <laughs> Marsha? Uh oh. Mar Shit's about Marsha, to get real. This is the Torrent. Say again. I don't know if it'll come across uh, on YouTube, but this looks so pretty I fucking legit. Um, I am going to be uploading this in, in 60 FPS at max. You have heard from us, uh, max settings, everything, so Safe trip. hopefully it will look as good there as it does when I'm watching it. Guys, in an effort to keep Stand these episodes Michael as short as possible to keep your attention, I'm going to end them after about 10 or 15 minutes. So we're going to let it get through this cutscene. Then I'm going to go ahead and end this episode and we'll pick it back up as we get over to this landing vessel. Depressurizing. Oh, fuck. Hating this. Just show <laughs> me, Taylor. You too, Samuels. Affirmative. A little bit of a space jump here. Fuck happened here? My God, Ripley, you're doing good, Tim. Holy shit balls! Just keep moving. Oh, this chick gonna die. Taylor Ripley, hold on. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh. The other two, the other two got to be gone. Taylor, respond, anybody. Okay. Well, damn. That's a <laughs> That's a quick way to lose two characters right off the bat, huh? Alright guys, like I said, we're going to cut this first episode off uh, right here. When we come back, we will continue the adventure of Alien Isolation.